right there. Hey everybody. So, got the car, we did all of our stuff. We've got, I don't know, close to 600 miles on the car now. There's gonna be a couple of videos coming up. Uh, one where we did final drives to get to 500 miles. I got one where Wendy actually drove the car, which is cool. Um, we had the whole check engine light fiasco. Turned out to be nothing at the time. Still no check engine lights on the car, but, now and the car's not driving any different or anything else but i noticed when we pulled out of the garage today there was a couple small you know puddle not puddles i wouldn't say i would say you know spots in the you know in the garage i thought well that could could have been condensation from last night or something you know didn't really think anything of it so we went on about a 30 minute drive today i parked right outside and before i pulled in the garage for about you know, five minutes to get some pictures and things. Well, then when I pulled forward, this is what's in the ground. So this was it sitting for about 10 minutes. So, I mean, there you can see those are pretty good sized spots. Um, it's, you know, the concrete absorbed it pretty quick. So it was hard for me to get a good, you know, it wasn't, it was wet, but not wet enough to be able to really see what it was. Um, so, Needless to say, we will not be driving the CO6 to work. I am on my way right now to the dealer to drop it off and see what's up. Hopefully it's just something simple. The car has not leaked since yesterday. I mean, it's been, I mean, we drove all the way back from Bowling Green, no problems. So uh, wish me luck. All right, so on my way to Days, um, you know, Hopefully it's not nothing major, but you know, it could be anything. You know, they could be like, oh, transmission, the whole thing's gotta be redone, whatever. Um, I'm not uh, I'm not one that's going to freak out because like I said, I've, I've owned a lot of cars and I know that things happen. Um, you know, you, all you ever see on the internet is negative, uh, most, for the most part. Uh, you don't see a lot of positive about stuff um, when it comes to car stuff. Listen to that thing, man. It sounds so good. And this is this is in the low mode, the low sounding mode. I've got it on just the high mode where I'm sleeping in the sun. But uh, so it's in like touring, suspension, and all that. But uh, back to what I was saying. You know, you always hear the negative. You don't hear the positive. Um, yes, this is a negative thing. You know, having to take the car back in, you know, to get the check engine light just, you know, you know yesterday, a couple days ago, or whatever, and then now having to do this. But, you know, it's not... I don't know. This car means a lot to me, uh, sentimental-wise, because of my dad and all that. Uh, so, you know, this... It is what it is. Hopefully they'll figure something out, but the car's definitely got to perform the way it should because this, I'll be the GM engineer test, I guess, the field engineer, because I'm driving it every day, at least for the most part. I mean, unless it's, you know, crazy sleep, hail, some crap like that, I ain't driving it. I mean, I won't do that. But I mean, in rain and stuff, I'm gonna drive the car year round. I mean, in Georgia, we don't, our climate's not that bad. Uh, so the car has definitely got to perform to the way it's advertised, uh, which I have confidence and full confidence that if it is an issue, they will fix it. I mean, I don't have any issue with that. Uh, my dealership's great, uh, Day Chevrolet in Ackworth, Georgia. Um, so I have confidence if it is something, they'll take care of it. Um, but you know, we're gonna work on to find out because getting ready to drop it off and no telling how long it might take. That's why I just told Wendy, 
depending on what it is, man, you might be we might be waiting a while. It, you know, you never know. Hopefully, it's nothing major. And I could be. I don't think I'm overly cautious though, because it hasn't leaked anything till now uh, that I've seen at all. And I mean. We'll see once we drop it off. Bye bye, day Chevrolet. Alright, drop the Z06 off. Uh, stay tuned on the video once I find out something. We'll see what happens. So we are just getting off work, heading to go pick up the Z06. Finally got the call that the uh, that it's all finished. Uh, it's been a little bit of an ordeal. I think I'm on, I don't know, technically I've owned the car since the middle of December, but I didn't actually pick it up till January 3rd. Uh, so I've almost had the car in my possession for a month. Uh, and I've got to drive it for three days. But, you know, one week of that was my own fault because I had scheduled, you know, to have the PPF done, so I had to have that done. And uh, then, of course, uh, COVID and the flu hit at the dealership, so that delayed about a week of, you know, getting the car looked at for the leak. Uh, and then when they did find the leak, they had to order parts. That took another week. Um, so this week, it basically took them, they, they had it for about four days, and the reason why, um, they did let me know the reason why it took so long, was simply because where this uh, coolant line was, or pipe, basically coolant pipe, that was having the leak at one of the connections, was a uh, very difficult spot to get to. So they told me that GM's recommendation for this repair is was step one removing the engine uh, needless to say they were able to not do that which i would say is a good thing in my opinion i mean that i don't know that kind of scared me when i saw it when i heard it i was like oh my gosh um i'm sure wendy felt the same way yeah i was like oh my gosh i mean i don't know it's not a good feeling having a brand new vehicle and then you know <laughs> having to have an engine dropped out of it But I will say they took very good care of the car. They kept it inside. As you can see right there it is. They kept it inside the whole time. So that was cool. Grand Sport. It looks like a hundredth anniversary. I'll just measure it out right here. Yeah, that's fine. There's another car. Alrighty, another Corvette C7. You gonna wash it today? I was going to because I haven't washed it yet. Yeah, I haven't washed it yet. See ya.
six pack.